So, should you force your wife to go sing Linkin Park with the new g girl singer on Monday? <laughs> if, she, if she's pregnant and doesn't really want to? <laughs> you know, this is a crazy hypothetical question. By the way, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is stuff with Aaron. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me just grab because I don't know how bad my audit. Thank you so much. Uh, stuff with Aaron. We're here with Ted Barton and Lucas Connolly. Great to have you guys. What a what a home run question to start off with, Lucas. I'm gonna hand the reins over to Ted. Uh, you can go ahead and respond to that one. <laughs> Jesus, it's so formal. <laughs> like a baton pass. Yeah. And like, Take it uh, away. Take a baton pass in the Olympics. I feel like with the setup we had, it'll probably pick up when I. I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be. What was your question? Lincoln Park has a new female vocalist. They have a they. So it got it got announced yet yeah, like two days ago that they have a new vocalist, and then they also released their first dates of tour. But it's insane because their first date is in like ten days from when they said it, and it's at Barclays. I love how you phrase it like it would be a hypothetical question. <laughs> well, As if it's not personally applicable to you. <laughs> you said the biggest imagination of all time. <laughs> and your pregnant wife and Lincoln. Yeah, so my pregnant wife doesn't really care much about Lincoln Park. I actually don't really care that much about Lincoln Park. Oh, thanks, buddy. I just had a lot of... Uh, there is some fun nostalgia to it. And I also have always wanted to see Jay-Z. Oh, are they doing like the numb remix? I'm just assuming it's New York City, right? Sure. If and if I was in, yeah, I, I, that'd be nice. That that would make sense. Now, for the, like the beginning of their tour, because the lead singer died. Does yeah, that Chester? Is, Chester. Well, yeah. I was avoiding oh, saying sorry. that. You know, well, <laughs> yeah. he unalived himself. <laughs> what are you trying to get deleted? That was real tragic. Do you remember that? You trying to get deleted from YouTube? <laughs> No one's, no one's gonna be able to listen to this now. Um, yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to dance step around it. Like, remember when he committed? <laughs> You're right, that's what post is for. It's yeah, fine. Just... So, do you think that it's like betraying a little bit to go watch them now, or do you think it's like what? Well, here's the cap biggest caveat. She is a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> is the baby inside her also? <laughs> oh, my wife? Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> You're talking about your own wife. if my wife was a Scientologist <laughs> and then I was so unsuc unsuccessful right now. <laughs> like, what's the point? I was going to say, does she, like, abuse you and throw you in, like, the timeout chamber underground no. and stuff? No, I don't think I can. I don't think you can marry a person that's not in Scientology if you're a Scientologist. I did. I watched a whole documentary on Scientology. Wow. Oh, that is a crazy religion. It's you can so even cool. Call was it going clear? Was that the one? Uh, I don't. I think so on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, it really, it really gets into it. Yeah, about how they like, they just would send all like they, all the Scientologists would send like spam emails to the IRS to try to get them to get religious tax exempt status. They just harass the IRS into making them a religion, quote unquote. But that's. This is why they're so good at business. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they were just like, uh, there's so many different vocalists we can get, but they forced this woman into to Lincoln Park. Do you know how big of, of a step this is in the Scientology community to have Lincoln, like, representation in Lincoln Park? It's the biggest. It, yeah. it goes like Tom Cruise, then her. What's this? this? Is I like that you don't even know her name. <laughs> <laughs> She's just woman X. <laughs> yeah, she's she's Chester. She's the uh, new Chester. Dudes, dude, the heckles at that concert are gonna be amazing. I don't think they're gonna be heckles. You'll never be Chester. No, I think people are gonna cry. Yeah. People are gonna cry. I'm kind of. I think. I think it's gonna be like a reunion of like grand proportions for people. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, anyways. Can a baby hear bad music? Is, <laughs> this is the first question. Is this negligence? Yeah. yeah. So right. Is this baby gonna be weird? Come out fucking cool? It's gonna come out emo. <laughs> it's gonna come out numb. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna cut its own umbilical yeah. cords. <laughs> it's gonna bite its umbilical cord yeah. off. It's gonna get born minutes to midnight. Mm. 
<laughs> no. How many references can we do? Oh, oh, wow. Doesn't matter how much you try. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> that was the next line. It's going to be a Linkin Park Scientologist, which is the craziest combination. <laughs> so should I become a Scientologist, you think? Yeah, you're going to have money for that. <laughs> right? You gotta, they, they, they bleed you dry. It's but so they, expensive. They only bleed you dry if you have money. What? They Do can't I, bleed you if you have nothing. Well, then they won't accept you, though. It's like, it's it's only for rich you people. You can't bleed me when I got no blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a free... Are they vampires, too? What's the difference? I think they are, to be honest. I would be. I would not be shocked if it came out that they were vampires. Oh, that would be actually the best front. Oh, we have a, we're part of a crazy, crazy religion. religion. Yeah. yeah. But secretly, yeah. we're just vampires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those, like, hidden in plain sight kind of things. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Should I just join Scientology? If you get in, ooh, man, that would be so interesting. They've never had a stand-up comedian. Oh, you could be their guy. I mean, they need faces of industries. Like that's what Tom Cruise is for acting. Yeah. They found they found the the girl for <laughs> for music, and then you could be their stand up comedy that's guy. That's what I'm saying. And I would, yeah. I would, I, you know, I'm not unmarketable. I just need a little bit of push. I would love to see you with a Scientology like make makeover. I would also just love to just be the opening act for Linkin Park. <laughs> the realization of the setting is that Lucas is getting him so excited and up. Dude, I, I, I've always wanted to be in a cult. I want to be a part of something. Th- right? I feel you know? so alone. <laughs> Every group that wants me <laughs> is, like, anonymous. You know, they don't even want me, you know. You mean anonymous, like, the, the first that run the group anonymous? Or, like... You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you, they have like another th- word after it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> sex or alcoholic or God, I yeah. It. I thought you meant like the, the anonymous alcoholics. That's like the B listers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. I like, couldn't get in the main club. <laughs> right. It's like there is something like what's that Groucho Marx quote? It's like I don't want to ever be a part of a group who doesn't want me to be a part of it or something like that. Yeah. Or yeah. wants me. Oh, I don't want to be a part of a group that wants me. Yeah. Oh, right. Mm. Right, which is the worst. Like, but Scientology, I don't really want to be in there, but I'm tired. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that everybody who goes to church eventually? They just go because they're like, I'm unhappy. Yeah. So I'm unhappy right now. What's the difference? I, I was thinking about recently, like, when I was a little kid, I used to go to synagogue all the time, like, every weekend. And the only thing that kept me going, I mean, I had to go, but, like, the only thing that was, like, worth it at the end was, like, they gave you, like, little sweets, like, little brownies or cookies or whatever and, like, grape juice. And then for the adults, they got wine. And I think it was, like, Pavlovian. Like, everyone just kept coming back for the sweets and the wine and grape juice. Because otherwise, just you just sit there listening to the same. Like, imagine you go into, like, a big room where someone just plays the same CD and the same 12 tracks every time. But those 12 tracks are Lincoln, Lincoln Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, me and you saw it the same game. It was so good. <laughs> you got cookies and wine. Uh, we got the new girl from Lincoln Park. All right, She doesn't have an identity because she's a Scientologist. <laughs> but that nameless, faceless person is that new lead singer of Lincoln Park. Yeah. Do you think she's like top tier Scientologist? She has to be, right? But was she not? Till, till she got in Lincoln Park? I don't know. I know that there's like f- like a thousand phases that you have to go through until you become like clear, and then there's still new levels to enlightenment. It's really, it's a wacky... I was going to say, isn't it kind of like Freemasonry, where they have like the 33rd degree? It's kind of like, you know... It's kind of like karate. There's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really easy to get a yellow belt, and then after that, it's really hard. Yeah, because it goes to black belt, and then there's like infinite degrees yeah. of, of being a, a black belt Scientologist. I think what's also extra scary about that, too, is like the higher your degree, the higher your sphere of influence and how much power you truly do have because you know they're doing so much shady stuff. Like a true sensei. <laughs> do you think do you think it's similar yeah, with karate yeah. where like the 40th degree black belt knows some stuff about karate that other people shouldn't know yeah that's what? that's what shredder is all about <laughs> <laughs> look at the reference 
What? You don't know Shredder? Ninja no. Turtles? Oh. Because he has right. all the ninja soldiers, and it, right? He's the highest level. <laughs> I, think, I, think it was, uh, I think it was Nick Mullen that made a, a hilarious observation about the Ninja Turtles, how he said, like, all the turtles have, like, these typical New York accents, you know, like Queens and Brooklyn or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Splinter just has like this stereotypical racist Japanese accent. Like, have you seen the new movie where they, where two of them are black and then two of them are white? No, that's There's confusing. black turtles. Well, voice acted. Oh, but it is <laughs> it is bizarre because it's like, wait, accent is just your family's cadence, right? Right, like. So like, why are two of them turtles? Why are two turtles? <laughs> right, that's just the, the cadence you were raised with. Yeah. All of a sudden, not, like that's just not. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, like, they, you guys well, think I'm gonna do it. The turtles I grew I'm up. Hoping you would. I really wanted you to. I want to hear how those turtles sound, Lucas. Dude, it was. It's bizarre. Well, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, you can assume all the turtles were raised in the same neighborhood. Like, why did some of them? Right. Why do they sound different than one Wait, another? Because they're different turtles. Like, like ones, they're like different type of turtle. It would be funny if they had each turtle represent a different borough of New York. I would appreciate that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like one's Dominican. <laughs> One's in Chinatown. One's a finance bro. Well, also, like, their names. is like Donatello. I feel like the the voice should match the name. Sure. Well, then they would all be douchebags. Italian. Like, it's like Guido's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'd, all be, they'd all be from the Jersey Shore. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, it'd be Turtle like, Jersey Shore. Right, yeah. <laughs> they'd be just posh, rich fucking douchebags. <laughs> or poor Jersey people. <laughs> they'll have I'd also blowouts. Watch. I'd also watch that. <laughs> But yeah, super. I was it, there was also a, a thing where they got turned uh, into humans. That's a that was it was a comic where they got turned into comic, and then two of them were black and two of them were white. The old, like the old comics, like the black and white ones. Nope, the okay. newer ones. Oh, okay. But, but again, it's still upsetting. It'd be so right? funny if they didn't get along afterwards. Well, it was more so just like, <laughs> can you imagine you're living a turtle? And you're just like, oh no, I'm just like uh, I'm uh, I'm a. Like and then they have to go in, and then their their two other brothers are in a different class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I have to understand the complexities of race. Yeah, exactly. I, I never thought that there would be a conversation about the teenage mutant ninja turtles that'd be tough to navigate. <laughs> I'm like, what can I say about this yeah, right now? But huh. it is it is just a bizarre thing that yeah. they were like, yeah, this is okay. And everyone was like, "Uh huh." Like it's that it's the weirdness of like of what like wokeness is sometimes, where you're like, "What?" Is, like sometimes you hear like the woke virus and stuff, and you go, "Okay, these people are insane." It sounds right? like they, it sounds like they were trying to do like an X Men type of thing, which is fine. That's a great like uh, uh, template for showing all these different backgrounds and all that stuff because that works. But if you're doing a family of turtles. <laughs> Just the whole of them be black. It's so crazy. Commit to the yeah. Like, yeah. Let them all be black. Let them all be white. Let them be whatever they are. If they're going to be humans, let them know? be Asian. Honestly, yeah. like you know, actually, that I, would have made, made a, lot a lot more sense. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so excited for? I'll never live to see this, but they say like the human race, we're gonna we're gonna be so mixed up that like gender or uh, race becomes like irrelevant. I also like that gender is just gonna get mixed completely. up. Probably. But, like, they say in, like, 100 or 200 years, there's going to be no white or black or Asian. It's all going to just be, like, we're all mixed, which will be great because then I feel like race will go away and we won't have, like, no one will have to talk about it anymore. I think it would be funny if that did happen, but there's still, like, some purists and they have, like, the defects of it, you know? And they're still <laughs> fighting. Like Anti-vax people. <laughs> they're, like, a light skin. They, they yeah. just look like toxic waste mutants and they're, like, hey, keep it the old way. Their face is, like, falling off. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all look like uh, the pig. <laughs> oh, uh, Bebop. Yeah, yeah. Keep it in the family. Yeah. No, uh, I. Do you believe that's that really gonna happen? I think so. I mean, you look at like what's happened with technology and traveling, and I think everything's just mixing up so much that it's it's inevitable. I think that combined with like designer babies and Neuralink stuff is gonna make for some really interesting people in the future too. It'll probably just be like cyborgs and then just 
uh, purebred humans yeah. is probably going to be yeah. the new. Give me, the, <laughs> give me those Boston Dynamic legs. I want those. Yeah. Do you ever see Children of Men? Yes, great movie. But basically, there's a moment where the kid is just on his phone and he's just swallowing 25 pills for breakfast. That's what I imagine I we're going to be like. Part. It's the it's in the very beginning. The guy has a statue of David in his house because everyone's because you can just buy. It's all all the pills are multivitamins. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> That'd yeah. Be nice. Okay, I want to tell a quick story. I, I, I saved Please. I saved a child's life today. Yeah, I've been wanting to. T- I haven't processed it with anybody. Okay, yet. so we got we got questions. Race. <laughs> 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 Well, I live uh, I live in an, an almost entirely Hispanic neighborhood. Okay. So now you're a real hero. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're gentrifying a place where they celebrate holidays that you've never heard of before? That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> they all had flags and stuff, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry. So I'm walking on the sidewalk, and I was kind of in the zone. I was like, I had my headphones in or whatever. And I, there's like an open doorway, and I just see like a ball, like bouncing out of it, and like towards the road, and a car was like coming, and a child leaves the doorway, chasing the ball into the road, and my instincts just took over. I was like, "You stop!" So like I was literally yelling. I was like, "Stop! Stop!" And I put my hand out and stopped the child from running into the into Whoa. the car, and. I was like so jacked up. The mom comes out like a, a couple seconds later, and sees what had just happened. And I'm yeah, I'm just like yelling to myself because the adrenaline was so hot. I was like, God damn! Like I was, I was just yelling. I was like, Holy shit! Like, and the mom just like looks at the kid and then just smacks the kid really hard, <laughs> like smacks the shit out of this little kid, like pa. And then like the kid starts crying. I didn't get a thank you. <laughs> And I just left, like, all right, I guess that's one way to just raise a family. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. But that kid, Dude. like, the timing was perfect. Like, it, the kid was about to get hit. I like, I imagine that in your headphones, it's like, it's a brick house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what am I listening to? It's like Mariah Carey. Yeah. We belong to God. <laughs> it's crawling on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> you had to sneak that one in, huh? Uh, it so sounds the, like it sounds like the adrenaline rush you have is akin to like in Breaking Bad when you, he like gets the money from Tuco when he's like grabbing the steering wheel when he blows up the whole no lost yeah, on you. Yep, no, you know, I, is that right? I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've watched that show. It was it was definitely something of like it felt like somebody shot an adrenaline shot in my neck. Like, yeah, it's weird nice. to like encounter your. That was, like, my deepest human instinct is to, like, save, like, pr- stop a child from getting hit by a car. Yeah. And so it's weird to just be, like, in your own, like, normal, you know, listening to Mariah Carey or whatever. And then you're like, oh, I'm a super soldier. <laughs> All of a sudden. Here's my question. You think you could have got a hit on the kid, too? <laughs> yeah. Let me spank. I get the butt, you get the head. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Yeah. yeah. Like, like can you, if you stop a kid from going to the street. Can you spank their kid? I think it should be mine. That's I think awesome. the, I think he you should have been. I think he no. I think he should have been my child. Uh, <laughs> you should have just picked him. I up think it's like a finders see. keepers thing. Yeah, that would actually be a crazy story. I like I save a kid's life and then abduct him just because I want him to be <laughs> in my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how adoption works. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! All right, so no, thank you. This is the thing. Did you ask for No a gracias. Thank you? No gracias. You didn't ask for one? No. I just kind of kept walking. Oh, so you didn't have a chance. No, mm-hmm. I like kind of paused to see what she was what her the mom's reaction was going to be. And then when I saw her smack the child in the head, I was like, "Okay, this isn't I don't think a thank you is coming my this way. This isn't the hero's welcome I was expecting." I thought it was going to be like, "Oh my god, thank you. You saved my child's life." But right. it's like, you idiot child, why are you chasing that ball around? Like, that was her reaction. It would have been nice if she had handed you the belt. 
<laughs> no, she was fisticuffs, dude. <laughs> she was all natural. She picked them up and was like, held them for you to hit. And now her pants were sagging. <laughs> <laughs> she had never worn a belt in her life. This is a great story. Ugh, I yeah. Totally enjoyed How old that. was this kid? The kid is probably like four. Very tiny, like a really tiny kid. Oh, yeah, you gotta a child. You gotta hit him while he's still young to really influence him. Yeah, and I don't think the kid understood why he was being hit. I think the- he thought it was because of the ball. You know, like in the kid's head, he didn't get hit by a car, so it's not like he would know. He didn't put it together, like, oh, you saved me. How fast was his car going? It was It was not going crazy fast. It was probably going like 10 or 15. Enough where it would have been, you don't want to get hit by a car. I'll, I'll say this. <clears throat> How how hard would she have had to hit him for him to feel what it would have felt like the car? Because <laughs> I like the idea that you stopped him from getting hit, but and then she's just all going to be like, "Whoa!" <laughs> she hits him harder than the car. Would like, he was meant to get hit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't change destiny. Yeah, it's like a hereditary thing. Yeah. Like he was supposed to die. It's a coming of age story. <laughs> we needed it to happen. Yeah. yeah. Now you're cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's getting mean. hit. Okay. <laughs> it's like in uh, Three Hundred where he has to go fight the wolf, like the wolf in the in the jungle or the forest or whatever. I do to become like this. a true to become uh, King Leonidas. He killed a, a wolf. That's huge. I think. Yeah, I think that's. Um, and that's how you become a part of the community is you just get hit by a car. It's the, right, it's the New York rite of passage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so where's the ball now? <laughs> <laughs> I took it. <laughs> I had to get yeah. some sort of recompense. Yeah. <laughs> you have it on a mantle? Uh, where's, but what happened to the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I See, love that her I fist did. is going at 15 miles per hour. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it's a huge hand for some reason. She's just got elephant titus in her hand. <laughs> I wish I had like a numerical value. Like like at the bar where you can hit the punching, like the yeah, speed bag yeah, to yeah. get a number. She would have broken the, the score. There's also, oh, a police, there's also a police yeah. officer with the, the speed gun. He's clocking the slap. Oh. Yeah, she actually was offended that it was like, you're going to hit my kid? That's my job. Yeah. And, and, and when you saw the kid get hit, did you go, uh-oh, do I need to do something? Like, did like because sometimes when I see a kid get hit, the first thought I how have to do wait, is, how often I'm not... kids get hit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid a lot of money for a subscription. <laughs> it's when his. <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't know where I stream. I have premium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, the Patreon is insane. It's when your wife hits her belly. <laughs> she plays the bongos on her own belly. Yeah, she just places the speakers <laughs> in the Lincoln Park. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I she puts the song. base of the speaker on her belly. <laughs> <sighs> well, all right. Well, I have to get going yeah, here. I was gonna say we should wrap up. That's been well. This has been fun. We had a yeah. lot. We talked about Black Ninja Turtles and hitting kids and yep. This is one where I don't know what description you could put up, but it won't encapsulate. No, <laughs> no. It's, it's the boys hang. <laughs> You're going to have to watch the full episode. Yep. Um, all right, I guess that'll do it. Thanks for coming by, guys. All right.